Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tanika Dion. All right, now today or right now, this is sort of a impromptu uh, video because it was not planned. Not, I don't even know what the frick I'm doing. All right, so um, I was cleaning out all my makeup stations. You know, just making room for new stuff because now that I'm back on YouTube, you know, I'm gonna be getting my subscription boxes and things again um and you know i'm going to be getting the palettes and the skincare and all that stuff so i was cleaning out all my stuff and just making room and then putting um stuff away and just cleaning things out okay so by doing so though i came across like all of these palettes that have never been used that's what i mean when i say i don't need to buy makeup because i have so much and I don't know if I'm ever going to actually use them, which is sad because I want to, but you guys, you know, I don't work and um, I don't feel the need to put makeup on every day. I do it for videos and when I do want to play around a little bit and I do it when I'm going out on the weekends, um, stuff like that. But as far as every day to go ahead and just dibble and dabble, I just don't. I mean, I know there's a lot of people, there's other people that don't work, but they continuously put makeup on every single day because they like to play in makeup i like to play in makeup too but i just don't do it every day like maybe i should so that i can go and use some of these things but i don't i just do not and youtube is my hobby it is not my life i do not you know constantly sit in front of the uh, camera i just i, I don't um so I come in here and do it when I feel like doing it. That's why when I do do videos, I try to do three or four at a time because, you know, I like to do two videos a week. I was doing three to four before um, I left YouTube, but now I'm only, I'm trying to do like two a week, maybe three if I feel like it, but for the most part, I'm going to be doing two a week. So anyway, so I try to do like three or four videos every time I do makeup uh, because I do not play with it every day. I just don't. So... Um, yeah, so anyway, as I was cleaning it out, I pulled out all these palettes that I have never used, and they were like in so many different drawers, so I just took them all out, put them right here, and basically, guys, I need your help. I do not know what I should do with these palettes. I mean, um, I have... 10 palettes i kid you not 10 palettes that i'm not going to show you today because i put them to the side because i'm going to put them in giveaways and i don't want to show them because until it's time for me to do you know my next giveaway or two or three because I, oh my god literally 10 palettes right here i have sitting to the side along with some brushes that i'm going to give away some single shadow i have stuff and then Besides putting all the ones that I'm going to put in giveaways, I still have all these palettes and I just don't know what to do with them, you guys. You know what I'm saying? So I just need somebody to tell me something. Please, people, comment below. DM me. I don't give a crap. Just please, somebody, tell me what I should do. Now, you know, I thought about, you know, doing a look with all of these palettes, like doing maybe one every day for a month something like that like using each palette and doing the look with each one i thought about that um every day for a month or something or like taking palettes and doing like one every day for a week uh i don't know i just need ideas on how to use these palettes besides giving them away because i have a lot that i'm giving away as well as the one um that i bought to give away you know what i'm saying <sighs> So, a lot of them do come from my subscription boxes. Yes, they do. Uh, most of them actually do come from some subscription boxes. And these palettes probably have been here since last summer. That's what I'm saying. I don't use palettes. And I, and I really don't even buy outside palettes other than the ones I get in boxes. The only palettes that I usually buy is like limited edition palettes that I know not going to be around for long. Or ones that really, really stick out to me. I, I, I just don't buy palettes. I don't. Not the fact that, you know, some cost $60, $70. If I wanted it enough, I would buy it. But 
I just don't because it's not going to do nothing but sit around. It's not going to do anything but sit around and collect dust, y'all. So, anyway, people, give me some ideas on what I should do with all these palettes and how I should use it or if I should. I don't know. But anyway, so let's just go ahead and get right into I just wanted to show you guys all the ones that I have sitting around that I haven't used and that I've seen people use and they love them but me I still haven't used them and I don't know why I can't explain it but anyway the first one that I have here is this Morphe this is the 39s and I know a lot of people love this palette a lot of people and I never use it I think this came out last summer for real and I do remember when I got this it was broken there and you know that I don't care um I didn't care about all that it's you know that was whatever and it's never been used Ooh, still has the, the the plastic on there y'all look at that beautiful palette beautiful and I have not used it beautiful beautiful purples and pinks love it love it that's why i got it and i do remember i had got two because i had put one in the giveaway before and this one was mine but i still never used it never used it and next thing this is what's this london metropolis metropolis 14 color eyeshadow palette some of them have the cover some don't because i know i took some covers off even though i didn't use them so it looks like this pretty and I know I probably showed them in other videos, but I don't remember. I do not remember. This is pretty, too. I, I be wanting to use this stuff, guys, but, jeez. <laughs> I just don't. I swear I don't have no time, but I don't do nothing. I swear I don't have no time. I should have plenty of time, for real. For real, for real. I should have plenty of time. Let me move my phone. All right. And then the next one is... um. Next one is this Tarte, Tarte something, I don't know what it is, whoa, see, the plastic is still in all of these, that's, I never use this stuff, these, these Tarte ones that came, I think they came in boxy charms. they're not the best of the best for me, but, you know, whatever, so that's that one, and then the next one I see here, this is a poolside uh iby beauty and i know this was probably in a box too like i said i think all of these were in a box all of them i think i may have bought like three of them that i if i'm looking around here and this is a pool side oh the it looks like this on the outside and colors look like this nice mirror now this is pretty too these palettes be so pretty i don't know what box i got it from no idea colors be so pretty so pretty so i need to be using this stuff i pay my box monthly and don't even use it the next one is this nomad times berlin underground looks like this Oh, guys, this kind of reminds me of like Dominique Cosmetics type thing. I don't know, you know, but this is cute too. Nice and earthy like I like. These are cute. I like these colors. I should definitely be using this one. I like that one. Guys, again, oh, is I'm sure I showed some. I don't know if I showed all of them before in different videos like in unboxings i'm not even sure but um yeah i'm trying not to swatch them in case i do end up giving some more of them away so i'm just showing you so you can you know tell me some ideas to do with each palette or a palette or um you know tell me you know if you used it and what you've done or if you like it you know what i'm saying that's why i'm not going to swatch any i'm just trying to show you Again, in case I save them for giving them away. This one is the uh, Moria. More. Moira. I don't know. Stargazing Dream Series Palette. And. Plastic. There we go with that one. Yep. Yeah, this one's. Not, oh, shoot. This one's nice too. I got a broken mirror in case I do give it away. You see that I didn't break that. I mean, it didn't break in transport. It is broken. This mirror is broken. Got a couple cracks. Can you see it? Yeah, right there. Cracks. So, that one. Goodness. And then this one, Fairy Tale Storybook Cosmetics. I think this was more recent one, wasn't it? Wasn't it in? Was this in the December boxy looks? I don't know. 
But yeah, this one never been used. I actually got two of these. How I got two, I was sent it. I don't know, but I got two. And the other one's already in sitting aside to one of the giveaways. So yeah. So again, tell me guys if you like any of these palettes or whatever, and if you've used them, um, the quality good. I don't know. And I have this. What is this? This is a Extreme Access. Pocket Shadow by J Cat Beauty. I don't know where this come from. Did I buy this? Or did this come in a I don't know. It could have came in one of my could have came in a lashy box or another smaller one of my boxes. I don't know. But these colors are cute too. Uh, <sighs> you guys, so many palettes. Oh my gosh. And then I have this Ace Beauty Scarlet Dusk palette. Mm, mm, mm. I should be ashamed of myself, y'all. Ashamed. Oh, oh, these are pretty. I didn't even open this one before. Jeez, this is pretty. Oh, I like these. And I know Ace Beauty got some nice shadows. Because I got like, I think I got two palettes from them in other boxes or something. But I know I got two palettes and they got nice shadows. This is pretty. Oh, I like this. I need to, oh gosh, y'all need to be using this stuff. I need to be using it, but I, I don't know if I'm ever going to get through. I'm going to have to use the makeup every day to get through each one of them. Seriously. Even if I just use it one time, that would make me happy. Oh. Oh, but I would have to take the time to really sit down and do makeup every day. Um, anyway, Tartius Pro Glow. And this is by Tarte. Yeah, like I said, these, I never use them, but some of them I did take out of the packaging already. But I, they still got the plastic. So what is this? It's like a blush contour highlight palette. Oh, this has been swatched before, so I wouldn't give this one away, obviously. Because it looks like it's definitely been swatched before. But it looks like it might be really cute. So, yeah, I'm not taking too much time into each one, guys. I just wanted to show you what I have and what I have not used. And like I said, I swear that a lot of these have been sitting here for, like, probably almost a year. I'm serious because I'm sure I got these, a lot of these in the summer. Some, you know, like from the summer of uh, 19 till now. Some of them could have been before the summer. I don't even know. But, um, yeah. And then this Tarte palette right here. What is this? This is the Park Avenue Princess by Tarte. This packaging is gorgeous. Really gorgeous. And... This has never been used, never been swatched. Very cute. I might try this contour. I'm not sure, but it's cute. Very cute. Like I said, I don't want to spend too much time because, you know, I don't want this video to be super hella long. <sighs> and then with all these palettes just sitting around, now I got to find somewhere to put these because I really don't want to put them in my drawer. I might have to start making room in my closet or get another storage bin and put uh, all these unused palettes. Although I have a whole, uh, what's this, container of unused uh, makeup. I got unused eyeliners, mascaras, um, uh, foundations, uh, lip glosses, lipsticks. Y'all, if I did a whole video on all my unused stuff, I bet you this video would probably be... It'd be an hour or longer because I got so much stuff here. Lipsticks, concealers, foundations, um, eyeliners, mascaras. I got uh, cleaning stuff, skin care. Oh my gosh, you got so much crap. I got a whole bunch of new brushes. Oh, brushes, not the ones that I want, the ones that I bought. So much stuff. That's why I don't like to buy add-ons and 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 you know like from ipsy and boxy to pop up i don't buy because i have so much stuff i haven't even used yet man oh goodness but if it's a good enough deal i'll get it anyway but there just wasn't oh my gosh i still okay anyway and then it looks like it's this alamar cosmetics uh blush trio alamar cosmetics and the blush trio these are pretty and i'm a blush freak i like these so this I should be able to use 
fairly quickly because I use blush, you know, all the time when I didn't. I like blush. Blush is my thing. This is from Ofra. Um, this is a Midi palette, Miller Squad. Dang, I never even opened this one. Jeez, y'all, this is just it's out of control. And then, you know, we're about to have more palettes with all these boxes and subscriptions. Dang. I hate when I can't open something. That makes me angry. And I start just ripping it. Shit. Goodness. Alright. And this is the Madison Miller. Um, okay. It's okay. Shoot, I might. I should have put this over there with the giveaway stuff already. I done tore the box. I still might put it in there. Just gonna have a box. I don't know. But um, and then I had this makeup revolution reloaded neutrals three. Oh, I remember when I got this. This was definitely last summer because I I was supposed to be doing a um drugstore <laughs> makeup look because I I've only done that once and I had bought this for that. You know I'm still gonna do that idea, especially since I saw my girl um Gabby Glam. She did one and hers was great as usual. Um, so you guys should check her out. She does everything. Gabby Glam is so good. She explains everything so perfectly. So perfectly you guys and um you know after you see her review on stuff you'll know for sure if you want to try that palette or brush or whatever it is that uh she's reviewing because she just does it so well and she explains it so well um but yeah so yeah now i want to do a um drugstore look just like she did so yeah and i still may go ahead and use this one i don't know but we'll see um and let's see the next one. Oh yeah, and I have Gab and Glam's uh, Gab and Glam's info down below. And I also have the new. Well, this came out last year as well. It's it's my Ray Ray Part Two. This is her collaboration with BX Cosmetics. She has a first one which I've used many many times. This one I have never even touched. I um, bought extra because I put in the giveaway, but I never used mine. These are pretty colors too. <sighs> Jeez. It's my Ray Ray is a very, very popular um, influencer on YouTube. I will put her information below as well. And then I have these three right here from ColourPop. This one is the main squeeze I've never used, never even opened. This is the main squeeze one. I'm pretty sure this came out last summer. Uh, they have so many now of all these colors. I just stopped. I really did. I just stopped buying because I, I figured I wasn't going to get to it. They have so many of them now. Um, like this, this one, like I said, is the main squeeze. This one is the, it's my pleasure. This is more of a purple. It's a pressed powder palette and it's purple color pop as well. And yep. Never been used. Plastic still on the mirror. Oh, goodness, you guys. Oh, my goodness, goodness, goodness. I feel so terrible. I haven't used these palettes. Oh, I feel terrible, terrible, terrible. Um, Like I said, if I showed you the ones that I'm putting in the giveaway, it would make the video even longer. But, I, you know, I'm going to show those when it's time for me to do the giveaway. This one is the Sweet Talk Pressed Powder Palette. You know what? This is where I think that lipstick came from that I have on this um when I show you in the other video when I show the tutorial of this look um so yeah which I will link in the video or below but yeah this is sweet hog pressed powder it looks like this oh this is cute oh this is cute <laughs> And not to mention, you know what, now that I think about it, I got, I still have a lot of the Disney villain stuff. Like the, um, what's those jelly things and the, the super shocks. I have a lot of those that I have not used either. Got lipsticks from them. 
stuff, y'all. Just stuff for no reason. Why I haven't used it? Why have I not used it? And then I have these two, which I don't know where they came from, but these two Hooters. And I know that my girl, um, um, Jackie Naturals loves this. Uh, she's the one that turned me on to it when I got it in the first place because she loved it so much. She had used uh, her first one so much she ordered like two or three more and then I said oh she loves it so I know it has to be good so I went and ordered one and still haven't used the thing and it was last summer. Ain't that a dang shame. A dang shame. <sighs> and the colors are absolutely stunning. I just haven't used it. <laughs> why? I do not know why. Don't know why. Oh, I'll put Jackie Naturals below too. Uh, love her, love her, love her. Um, so I'll put her um, information below as well. Someone else you guys should check out. She does reviews on just about everything, just like we all do. No more sticking to just one niche. You do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? YouTube is about doing what you want to do. All right. So, yeah. And this is the other hoodie. This one, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't even tell you. This one is Mauve Obsessions. That's what this one is. And this one is Ruby Obsessions. Again, also by Huda. Very, very pretty as well. And haven't touched it, but they're very pretty. <sighs> guys, we're coming down to the end of it. I told you I had a lot. I just wanted to show you guys so you guys can tell me something. And then, you know what? Oh, yeah. And then I got this one. Where did I get this one? From one of my boxes. I don't know. This is a Glam Light um, Alondria Desi 15 Luxury Eyeshadow. And y'all know I have all the um, shadows from Glam Light anyway. Um, like the Cake Palette, Pizza Palette, uh, Burger Palette. The only one I don't have is the Taco Palette. I didn't get that one. Um, yeah, but all of uh, Glam Light's palettes I do have. And this was a special edition. Um, I guess a collaboration. I'm not sure about who the person is. But these are very, very pretty colors. And um, yeah, so just, just nice stuff, man. Nice palettes here. <sighs> and then I got this, what's this, the Nubian Coral 3. Yeah, the Nubian Coral 3 by Juvia's Place. <sighs> jeez, jeez, jeez. I don't even know what this looked like. Yeah, this. I don't know what I be ordering sometimes. Oh, okay, Coral. This is cool. Alrighty. Yes, yes, yes. Alrighty. Tanika, girl. I don't even know what to say. I just don't know what to say. This is absolutely ridiculous. Girl. Sorry. Oh, shoot. See, this is... A... <sighs> We're winding down here, y'all. And then... I went ahead and had, you know what, this, um, who is this? This is the Fuma and Juvia's Place, the whole collection here. Um, I had ordered this, I think, was it on Black Friday? Because they had it for like half off or something. I don't even remember how much I paid for it, but it was like half off the whole thing. So I decided to get it. Why? I don't know. Just because I wanted to buy some stuff on Black Friday for no reason. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know why I bought it, but that's what it looks like. And this is, um... where that is oh, oh guys oh my goodness I was looking for this you know I bought the Juvia's Place setting powder um, and the stick because you know I, I, I religiously live by the um, this foundation by Juvia's Place I, I use this like true religiously this is one of my faves one of my faves and so i said when they first came out with a stick and the powder i ordered them and i had couldn't remember where i put it um and i was looking there when i was cleaning out all my stuff today i still couldn't find it oh here and i've never used either one of these the foundation stick or the powder see you got that see isn't that ridiculous put stuff and don't even know where the frick i put it at that's so freaking sad 
so sad but anyway that doesn't come with the collection the collection comes with this and um the fuma i'm not even sure fumi i'm not even sure who she is i heard you know i know she has a youtube channel and all of that i really don't know who she is i, I don't subscribe to her because i don't know who she is i may i said i was going to look her up and stuff but i still never did it but i just ordered it because like i said <laughs> it was something that was on sale for half off and i just couldn't pass it up i guess and and the collection like i said it come in this collector's little box uh for queen and then it came with the palette and the two lip glosses here um and also uh uh a makeup bag with her face on it which it's a big one i can't i'm not gonna pull that out but it's a makeup bag also and so the palette looks like um i forgot y'all look it's still taped that don't make no dang i keep saying that because it doesn't make sense i can't believe that i have all this stuff and oh, oh my gosh and not using it that's a shame so many people want makeup and here i am getting stuff and just letting it go to waste that's 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 terrible and um so the queen palette fumi times juvia's place and ah oh shoot it's broken ain't that about a sorry it's broken getting on me uh, but yeah this color right can y'all see that it's too late to even do anything about it because i guess ah okay it's too late to do anything about that but i'm gonna empty that part in this shit. oh goodness that's crazy but anywho yep it's all gone well now that that fell out you can probably see it a little better I don't know if I was going to ever use it anyway. Maybe that pink color. Maybe the purple. Too. That red is cute too. But you know guys. Uh, it's a shame. See if I had looked at that. I could have did something about that then. You know what I'm saying. But it's too late now. I'm pretty sure of it. Because I got this like I said on Black Friday. I remember when I ordered it. I just you know. It was way too late to be trying to exchange. <laughs> so. It is what it is guys. I'm not mad. Because it's my fault. It's my fault. It, 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 it even came in this plastic too but i mean bubble wrap and i guess it still broke i don't know whatever come on all right and um so yeah and then these lip glosses the queen one is do they have the name queen it's a dark one i like dark this is just fumi it's a fumi gloss it's like a dark purpley bluey blacky all those in one i'm not gonna open that but it's cute though it's really cute i never even opened this stuff jeez and this one is a neutral brownie type color i hope this makeup i don't want it to you know i haven't used it i don't want this stuff to go to waste i really don't ah! mm, mm, <laughs> all right and yeah this is a pretty what is this like a goldy gold or brown or i know it's like a neutral so you know i'm cool with neutrals and yeah and that's all for that collection and i'm gonna take this foundation and setting powder and put it somewhere else so i won't forget it's in there again i'm gonna put it in my drawer so i won't forget that one right here okay and then that was all that was in the fumi collection here and then it looks like the last two palettes this one is the morphe and jeffree star palette yeah i know this was last year as well this was never been used i took it out because i was going to use it but never did and look the plastic is still on there also and these are the colors right here very very pretty very pretty color could have used this for valentine's day i forgot i had it like i said i'm just now cleaning out these drawers and seeing what i have so <sighs> another one and then lastly yeah this is the last and then lastly i got this one when it first came out too this is the tati beauty you know i know everybody done reviewed this and did this i got this one i don't think it was it last year or was it this year i don't know whenever this came out i ordered it that day um no not that day probably like a few days later it wasn't that day but i did get it later it was it was new but it wasn't new new um but yeah and so i had been sitting on this i don't know if this was was it christmas after i don't even know I, so i don't know how long i've had this um but whenever it came out that's when i had it and this is the tati beauty and volume one and i know everybody knows about this 
and um yeah and i've seen a lot of reviews on this people are loving it so um you know i'm not giving this one away i just still haven't used it yet um so because some of these i still might give away this mirror is huge this mirror is huge these colors are beautiful and yeah and then when tati beauty i mean and then with tati i did this one when she first because this is all she had and i ordered this and then when her things came out, I just opened these uh, when I found them. I said, oh, I forgot I ordered these. See what I'm saying? This is her, what is these? Her blendables? What is this? Blendable. I ordered it because um, they were hearts. Honestly speaking, that's the only reason I ordered them. Because they were cute little hearts. I haven't used them at all. Her little um, sponges. You know, her makeup sponges. These little cute little sponges. Tati Beauty. These probably have been sitting here for like a month. Probably like a month. I haven't used these either so oh, you guys all right and that is about yeah that is it because i could like i said i could show you all the other stuff that i have that i have not used or opened but the video will be super long so anyway guys again oh, if you have any ideas for your girl let me know um or tell me your thoughts on some of these palettes if they're good it's worth me even trying uh, should I do some videos on these palettes? Um, I don't know. Just tell me something, guys, so I don't feel so terrible that they're just sitting here going to waste. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, thank you again, everybody, for sticking to the or watching to the end. If you did watch to the end, um, I really appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video. Keep moving,